Welcome to Wangguang University Hospital, where we lead a healthy society. This video is prepared to assist you during your hospital admission period so you could well adjust to the hospital environment and enjoy better patient stability and convenience. Please refer to the details carefully and we wish you a healthy and comfortable admission period at our hospital. Please bring your own cup, water bottle, slippers, toiletries, toilet paper, and other personal belongings and note that we do not provide additional bedding for caretakers. Meal schedules are 7 to 7.30 a.m. for breakfasts, 12 to 12.30 p.m. for lunches, and 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. for dinners. Please return your trays to the meal cart or the wiring room after eating. Outside food is prohibited due to possible infection or food poisoning. Please be ready in your patient rooms for rounds and cooperate with the treatment procedures. Doctor's rounds are scheduled at 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. during weekdays. Take memos of your treatment-related questions and make inquiries during doctor's rounds. We have procedures to alleviate your pain, so please do not hold it in and express the part and nature of your pain accurately. According to your pain scores, we administer prescribed painkillers to help reduce your pain. Only one blanket or comforter is provided at the time of your admission. Ask the nurse if you need to change your bed sheets or hospital gowns. Place your used linen blankets and gowns at the laundry collection center and make sure to separate contaminated laundry from general laundry. Close the lid at all times to prevent infection. Assault, verbal abuse, and sexual harassment against others are strictly illegal and you may be punished according to civil and criminal laws of Korea. Physical assault, threats, interference with medical treatment, and medical personal assault may subject you to aggravated punishment according to the Article 12 of Korea's Medical Act. Refrain from engaging in unnecessary arguments with other patients during your admission. Do not cause any inconvenience to other patients or caretakers. Please talk silently on your phone and refrain from religious activities within the admission rooms. Patient identification tag must be worn on your wrist at the time of admission. Arbitrary elimination of this tag is prohibited as it is necessary to confirm patient information for testing, drug administration, blood transfusion, and surgery. We may regularly ask your name, hospital registration number, and date of birth for patient safety, so please cooperate fully. Make sure to notify the nurse in advance if you are taking any medication. Our medical personnel will decide whether you should continue your medication during the admission period based on the compatibility, overlap, and interaction with our prescription details. Bed rails must always be in an upright position while you are lying down or sleeping to prevent fall accidents. Fixate the wheels before and after using a wheelchair. Press the call button at the top of your bed in emergencies or when you need assistance. Call buttons are also installed in bathrooms and shower rooms. Do not leave cash or valuables in the patient rooms to prevent theft. The hospital will not be responsible for your losses. Make sure that cash, hearing aid, and other personal belongings placed beneath your patient gowns or pillows do not be classified as laundry. Arbitrarily moving your bed around is prohibited to provide safe treatment and prevent infection and your cooperation will be greatly appreciated. Do not leave child patients unattended. Please notify the nursing staff immediately if you spot strangers or suspicious people inside the hospital. Cooking and using electric heating appliances are strictly prohibited. All areas inside the hospital are non-smoking zones and smokers will face penalties. After a mission, check the evacuation route in advance. 
refer to the evacuation guide map for each patient room and our leaflet for detailed fire evacuation plans. In case of unexpected emergencies due to fires or accidents, act on the guidance of the nursing staff or safety personnel. Maintain appropriate distance in between beds to prevent infection and always leave the curtains open to ensure patient monitoring and safety at all times. Please attend to your hand hygiene before and after contacting patients, processing urine and feces, before meals, after using the bathroom, and after coughing and sneezing. Please dispose of the alcohol swap, gauze, and diapers into the medical waste bin installed on the hallways of patient rooms. Visiting hours are 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on weekends and holidays. One caretaker with a caretaker pass is allowed into the patient ward. Please use the visiting rooms and common rooms on each floor to visit patients and fill out the visitation forms after visiting. Patient transfer time among nurses is required to prevent patient safety accidents and ensure accurate treatment. This will take approximately 30 minutes and starts at 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 11 p.m. Please cooperate fully to ensure a smooth transfer. Wiring rooms have water coolers and microwaves. Mind the hot water when using the water cooler and use the microwave only to heat up food using designated containers. Mind the slippery floor when using the shower room and please clean up afterward as it is a communal space. Please refer to the ward bulletin board if you need Wi-Fi information. The hospital has a bank, ATM machine, restaurants, coffee shop, coin laundromat, convenience store, fax and copy machine, and an insurance claim agency. Here is some information on parking fees when you visit the hospital. Parking is free up to 30 minutes, 8 hours on the day of admission and discharge, and 12 hours on the day of labor or surgery for one vehicle on one occasion. If you need long-term parking or plan on frequent visits to the hospital, purchase long-term or daily parking tickets at the parking center. If you have any inconveniences or requests during your admission, please address your issues to the head nurse. Visit the Customer Support Center on the third floor of Ward 1 or use the customer voice boxes installed online and at the entrances of each ward. One Gwang University Hospital will proactively utilize your precious opinions to enhance our services. The issuance of documents may take more than one day, so request necessary forms to your registered nurse one day prior to your release and show necessary identification. Family Relations Certificates are required for underage patients. Make sure to get the hospital seal on your documents at the Certification Center on the first floor. We have several departments dedicated to your effective treatment and social adaptation as follows. Treatment Cooperation Center provides treatment for returning patients and consultation for those who require sustained linked treatment after release. CSR team provides help and necessary information to relieve the psychological, social, and economic difficulties that patients and families go through during treatment and ensure smooth treatment. No Smoking Support Center provides various support measures to help patients quit smoking. The nurse will guide you through medical bill payment once your discharge evaluation process is complete. Finish your payment at the administration department and submit your certificate of discharge to the nurse. You will then be notified of precautions and receive discharge medications. We have guided you through our missions process for patients and caretakers. Please refer to the hospital admission guide for more details. We hope for your fast recovery and with you good health.